Henryton right now. And Henry Henryton is a mental institution in Maryland. Uh, we're in Sykesville right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, Sykesville, Maryland that was closed down. And we're not going to be going in the entrance. We're going to be going in the side. All right, we just got out of the car a few minutes ago, and we've been hiking along these tracks. This is actually considered uh, Tapsco State Park. Is that what you said, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Until Tabs Henryton, that's st considered a state property. You can get arrested. Actually, no, I think all you get is like a ticket. It's like a misdemeanor. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. All right, we've been walking on the tracks for how long do you think, Nick? Maybe like five, ten minutes. And we're going over a bridge now. And up ahead we got this tunnel we're coming to that looks like it's going to be extremely dark yeah, inside. Yeah, but there is like things in the side that would be perfect for someone to hide it now. I'll show you. It's so creepy. Do you hear that? Is that thunder? Oh, uh, funny. All right, we are inside the tunnel now, and these were the things Nick was talking about a second ago. That would be perfect for someone to hide in if they really wanted to scare us. And we've got some graffiti over here. There's all sorts of funny shit written inside the tent. There's like Satanist stuff, funny stuff, and then there's one ghost hunter guy. Here's another one of the things. Are they all on your left side or are any on the right? I think there's like a surprise one on the right, I don't know. I don't remember. Look at that, you can't see anything in there. If you look at it in the dark. I know what they're for though. Like if you get stuck in, a t in the tunnel when the train comes, you can sit inside there so the train doesn't hit you. You know? Yeah. At least that's what I think they're for. And here is the... 1902 to 1903. I'm guessing... Should we get a picture of that? Do you think this is the construction of the... Yeah. ...tunnel? And what do you think the... Chief screen? engineer. Probably right about that. Oh, we got some more graffiti over here. Alright, it's 6.13 right now. We're still in the tracks. And, um... And what we're coming up on here is... A broken down power plant, you said? Yeah, something like that. And it has asbestos warnings all over. Yeah. And we have some cars parked here. Not I mean, sure the cars who they I'll are. See if there's anybody in it. They're definitely not cars. Oh, shit. The one has a little bit of light on it. And this is the power plant again. We're walking past it now. We're not going to go in it now because there's people sitting there and there's also a... What was it, Anne Arundel County? Yeah, something or other, doing an inspection. Yeah, some kind of emergency vehicle doing an inspection, so we're not going to mess around with it now, but we might hit it on the way back. Depends. Alright, we're back at the power plant now. We just discovered that this thing is now open. There's a lot of stuff down here. Some vandalism over here. We weren't able to tape before because the emergency vehicle was so close. Mm -hmm. This is the abandoned.
is the building we were just in. Warnings on it. That one's all boarded up. We're not going to be able to get in there. Path. Let's just go up there, see the building, and then. Alright, we're coming up this path now. We can see the buildings of Hetherington now. The first building we come across is the warden's house. All right, we're here, more of the main grounds here. Got some bats flying overhead. Hey everybody, uh, if it was at all unclear, the video that you just saw was about Henryton. Um, many people refer to it as Henryton Mental Hospital or Henry Henryton Mental Institution. Um, I just refer to it as Henryton. Um, I'll go into why a little bit later. Um, on the video that you just saw, I ran out of battery partway through filming, so that's why you see it cut off kind of abruptly. Um, you got to see in the video uh, most of the grounds of Hennerington, but inside very few buildings. And I apologize for that, but that's all I could do. Um, that's all I could show you uh, because, like I said, I ran out of battery. Um, 
and after that uh, video was filmed, um, there was a lot more vandalism. Um, there was already a lot of vandalism going on there all the time. Um, but after that, there was a lot more that took place, including some major arson um, that took place. Um, after that arson was, the major um, arson was committed, um, uh, State of Maryland went back and um, they decided that uh, it needed to be, you know, re reassessed, recondemned, and marked for demolition. <clears throat> and that's what they did. So, therefore, I could not revisit, unfortunately. Um, I had other footage, which I took with some other people. Um, and on that footage, some orbs were caught on tape, um, like orbs of light, and then other light fragments that couldn't be explained. Um, but that wasn't my footage, it didn't belong to me, and I wasn't able to track it down, unfortunately. So, um, in addition to that, there had been sightings of um, light orbs in the basement of the warden's house, which was the building that I spent the most time in, in the video. Orbs of light in another building called the auditorium. Um, which was obviously an auditorium, but it was also used um, to house um, large rows of beds for patients. It was pretty much like a mass housing unit. Also in the auditorium, there had supposedly been several sightings of a ghostly woman in a red dress. In the rafters of the auditorium, there are was supposedly seen some red rags hanging from the rafters, which people say those red rags at one point was the dress that that woman was wearing when she was alive. I don't know, I'm, I've never confirmed any of these things, I never saw these rags for myself, never saw this woman for myself, these are just other stories that I've heard of paranormal activity going on there. Activity that I've heard of are just, you know, sounds, loud banging, voices, footsteps, things like that. Um, the only other thing that I witnessed myself was I was in one of the main buildings, um, in one of the main long halls, which at each end there are double doors which swing, <clears throat> and then past those double doors on each end are um, stairways going up. And um, I was at one end and it sounded like there was a bunch of people running down the stairs and then they were it sounded like someone was banging on those double doors um, I mean I was younger I was there with only one other friend so we kinda got spooked and ran out of the building but about ten minutes we went back in went through those very double doors there was nobody there we went upstairs there was no one there we went outside and looked through the windows up top and we couldn't see anyone so I mean it could have been somebody else there you know there's always people there walking around like I said a lot of people went there and, and vandalized stuff so um, but that was just another story the train tracks as well as the tunnel that were featured in the video um, the construction of them was um, in the 1900s, uh, early 1900s. Um, I think the plaque said completion was like 1903 to or 1902 to 1903. Um, Henryton construction and as well as Henryton being active, that time period was between the 1940s, early 1940s and late 1960s. Um, it was late 1960s, uh, could have been very early 1970s as, is when it shut down for good. Um, uh, back to what I was saying about how I just refer to it as Henryton. Um, this is the history as, as I know it from my research as well as uh, word of mouth from other people more knowledgeable about it than, than I am. Um, it was originally opened as a tuberculosis ward for women and children only. Uh, it then closed briefly after vaccinations came into effect. 
Um, it was reopened as a mental institution for all men, women, and children. And then during the time in U.S. history, when many mental institutions slash hospitals were being closed um, and patients just set free, <clears throat> Henrington was one of the ones that got shut down. Um, I'm sure you've heard about this before. There's been documentaries and movies made about it. American Horror Story did a whole season about this. Um, they were just shut down basically because of, and Henryton included, because of um, the practices and procedures becoming outdated and um, becoming uh, noted as inhumane practices and unlawful, um, as well as um, the conditions inside being unhealthy and, and really filthy and unsafe um, to be in. So it was closed down at that point, um, and all the patients were just released um, with no kind of rehab, um, like outpatient rehabs, rehabilitation set up, or any kind of reintegr in reintegration program set up for them. Um, it was reopened again um, sometime after, I'm not sure um, how long, um, but it was reopened again as another, again as a mental hospital slash institution. Um, and then after a time it was closed again um, and condemned because of lead paint, asbestos, unsafe conditions. Um, and it was like I said, it was condemned. Um, at that point, the patients that were staying there then were transferred to what was then the newly constructed Springfield Mental Hospital, which is actually still there in Carroll County, Maryland. Um, and I believe it's still open to some capacity. I don't know if it's the same capacity as it was back then. Um, but it's a massive property. No paranormal activity um, at Henryton has ever been confirmed or denied and um, because of the vandalism and arson that happened and resulting um, from that it being condemned by state of Maryland I guess we'll never know and um, <clears throat> unfortunately I won't be able to revisit the site. But anyway um, I hope you did enjoy the footage um, that I did get. Please uh, let me know in the comments section. And um, also in the comments section, please um, put down any, you know, any other myths, urban legends, or um, paranormal sites, supposedly paranormal sites that you know of, because I would love to check it out. You know, any kind of stuff like that. Um, it's really interesting to me, um, and I guess it is to you if you clicked on this video. So, um, yeah, please, if you know anything like that, um, please let me know, or anything that you would like me to check out and uh, do a video on. I guess that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, please like and subscribe for the newest videos. Till next time, see ya.